if you can see in the grass just ahead of me here, uh, there's a piece of equipment called an Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, or an AUV. AUV stands for Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, and that essentially means that this can be put out in the ocean and it moves around on its own. It's not attached to anything and it doesn't need to be towed behind a boat. Uh, and this particular type of AUV is what's known as a glider. And the reason for that is because it has these wings on it. And you may also notice that if you look towards the tail end here that you don't see a propeller. So that, asks, that kind of proposes the question then of how does this thing actually move in the water, especially if it doesn't have a propeller. And the answer to that is that it relies on buoyancy. And this one is just kind of a one that, that doesn't have any uh, real equipment in it. This is just for demonstration. But um, on the gliders, they usually have a hole up here on the nose of it. And there's a little plunger that plugs up that hole. And there's a little motor inside. And so when the scientists put this out in the ocean, it floats at the surface. And then when they want it to start to move, that plunger pulls back. And it lets the, the front end of the glider here fill up with water. And that makes the nose of it heavy. So it begins to point down in the water. And it'll begin to glide down, going downward. And the wings help to keep it moving forward. And so it'll go down, and it'll hit a certain depth. Uh, and at that point, it needs to begin to come back up so it doesn't bump into the bottom. So the little motor will activate again in here, and the plunger will push the water back out of the nose. And there'll just be air inside again, and that makes the nose lighter. And then it tilts upwards, and then the glider will move back upwards as it's going forward. So essentially, as it keeps doing that, the glider is able to glide down and then back up again, and then back down and back up, and the whole time it's moving forward. And the scientists can take this, and they can go outside the inlet right here, and they, the two folks can take this in a small boat, and they can drop it off into the ocean. And there'll be a lot of different pieces of equipment um, that'll be either inside or attached to the glider that can collect information for the scientists about the water temperature and the depth uh, and the salinity or how much salt is in the water. Uh, and they can take a lot of different measurements um, with the currents and other things. And so as this moves through the water, it's taking measurements for the scientists. And eventually it'll pop up and it can send its data and information and its location back to scientists. And because it doesn't have a propeller and use a lot of batteries, it can go out for weeks or even months at a time. So if you'd like to find out more about this, um, you can visit the website for the Institute, which is um, marine.rutgers.edu. And if you want to find out more about the reserve programs, you can do jcnerr.org. And that's our website. It has information.